Welcome to Programming Knowledge. In the previous video, we had already known how to use FreeRTOS TOS to handle some tasks, use some extra functions such as suspend, suspend, resume, and delete, or something. I forgot it. And uh, today, I will introduce you to some new features of FreeRTOS TOS. That is a mutex feature. This is a feature very powerful will help you handle your task before we go to this I have a questions like this at you new OS or free or TOS run tasks at the same time right it means it can run uh, concurrent or parallel so what happened when two or more tasks joined into a mission at the same time it means it doesn't run one task it runs two tasks at the same time. It can join into your data and change the variable at the same time. What data will be assigned if there are two tasks run at the same time? Can you guess it? No, you can't guess it. You can't predict it. And this problem hard to debug or predict, right? Okay, I will give you an example of this. Um, I have four tasks. That's one. That's two. That's three and four. All of the tasks have the same function. That's a uh, in that one. It will uh, change the variable a to one, and then bring to serial monitor. That's two also like that. That's three also like that. That's four also like that, and then print, print, okay, print. And I assume that task one will run first. Task one will change the variable to one and then bring the A to serial monitor, right? But it's totally not like that because uh, in OS the tasks run concurrently and parallel. So this problem can happen. I will give you an example when the variable A is changed to one and it's ready to print to serial monitor the task still will run and it change the a variable to two and then the task one keep running and the variable a at that time is two okay that is a problem you cannot predict it because the task is run concurrent do you understand that's the problem when you didn't use uh, uh, some feature to handle some task. Uh, and I didn't talk about the priority because you can also put the priority of task 1 in 1, 2, 3, 4, and it will run one by one. But the maximum of priority in the system only 15 level. So if you have more than 15 tasks, the problem still happened. Okay? And to avoid that, we have many ways like suspend or resume function at the previous video. But I think that's why it's not good if there are many tasks are running and it can make your system is delayed or terminated. So in this video, I will give you uh, two ways. Uh, the first way is a simple way, but this simple way only used for two tasks. And the second one is use mutex to handle your system okay okay i will uh, introduce you what is mutex right now and as the google said that google said um, mutex is a mutually exclusive flag it acts as a gatekeeper to a section of co-allowing one thread in and blocking access to all others this ensures that the code being controlled will only be hit by a single thread at a time the thread right here is the process or the task okay you can uh, under understand like that i will give a short concept like this in a certain time there's only one task run the other task will wait until that task finish and that task need to release the key for the other task and at that time the other task can run okay easy right Okay, I will give you an example with a picture like this. I have three tasks. 
three task and I have a mutex key mutex key mutex key right here is only a variable it's nothing special okay key a key three of these tasks has the same function and of course is uh, add the mutex feature into uh, each function okay I assume that and okay I will assume that's one will run first that's one will get the mutex key uh, change the a to one and then print because the task one get the mutex key the task two and task three will wait until this task until this task release the mutex key okay if the task one doesn't release the mutex key uh, the test 2 and test 3 still wait and wait, wait, wait forever. Okay? After finish, after test 1 finish, it needs to release the mutex key. And then test 2 or test 3 can access the mutex key to run the body. Okay? Test 2 or test 3. Because uh, OS run at the same time, I cannot predict test view or test three can get a mutex key. Okay, can you get it? Can you get the how the mutex key work? How the mutex feature work? Okay. Now I have a code like this. This is the code in the video two. I will put the link in this video description. Okay. Now uh, I will create variable A in A and in a task 1 I will change A to 1 and then bring to ceremony to copy change to 2 and bring to ceremony to ok and we upload it and see what happen it also run 1, 2, 1, 2 at the same time and 1 run first, 2 run after that it not happen to run first because I think Arduino has optimized this problem but if you use more tasks can be run 1, 3, 4, 2, 5 okay uh, I will give you an example like this 4, in e, e, 0 I have a loop right here to print to print uh, to Sarah monitor e variable okay I have 5 uh, and I change this to 50 millisecond copy and then paste right here okay let's see what happen it will run that's 1 and that's 2 that's 1 and that's 2 that's 1 and that's 2 okay right here is that 1 that 2 that 1 that 2 that 1 that 2 that 1 that 2 but if I want to run task 1 and then after finish print to serial monitor I will run task 2 so how can I do it okay I will give you the first simple way e, we have a um, boolean variable is my mutex mutex bang is false and right here we have a while loop to check the my mutex okay and the first mutex is false and I want to run the task print first so I will put the mutex right here is 2 if the mutex is not 2 it will break the loop and run the bodies so the other if mutex e2 it loop right here forever okay this is the mean of this line of code okay uh, I put e false and it doesn't run the while loop it runs that's one first and then I will change the my mutex to 2 
the reason is I don't want to run task 1 anymore I will stop the task 1 and the task 2 will run by why my move text is false okay and change the my move text it false okay the the system will run like this uh first because the my move text is false it run task one first because when it run this line the system will check the my move text the my move text the, the my move text at this time is false it doesn't by two so it will break the while loop run the body and set the my move text e2 and then the mutex e2 this pass check the my move text if the my move text is false it means it doesn't two and it break this loop it run the body and set to false and then the my move text is false and it run 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 like that it run following the other uploading code and see what happened it will run 01234 and 01234 Oh, you can see it. Zero, one, two, three, four. Zero, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I forgot. Uh, in the task when you have a global variable, you need to put it to volatile. Okay. Don't worry about vol what is the volatile. You need to remember when you use a variable, a global variable uh, between the other task. You need to put the volatile is the first of the variable okay i will put the explain of volatile below this video description okay and now let uh upload and see what happened it will run 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 4 and then 0 1 2 3 4 okay you can you can see it 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 one that's one that's two that one that's two that one that's two just like that okay and this is a simple way and uh, it's only be affected when you use two tasks but it cannot use when you use uh, too many tasks okay and to you many tasks i will give you move text i have a code like this i have semaphore handle my mutex you need to uh, comment this code because uh, uh, i reuse the variable name is my mutex okay semaphore handle my mutex and then in the set of function i have a code like this my mutex is semaphore create mutex this means it will initialize the mutex if the mutex cannot um, create it it will bring to zero monitor mute text cannot be created okay and then we have a vtas scheduler okay that's the procedure after that in each as we need to get the mute text key and then release the mute text key as the picture i told you okay now let um, delete my sim away okay i have a function e take the mutex and then release the mutex okay this is a take mutex and this is a release mutex take and release okay now let upload and see what happened oh uh, uh, sorry i forgot to include Mutex library sema4 because the mutex is same as sema4 function so uh, it also use sema4 library okay it will run 01230123 as my sema way right but what happen if I take the mutex and I don't give the mutex key to the other task it only run task one the other task will wait 
until this task brain release the key. If it doesn't release the keys, the other task will wait forever. Okay. Okay, this is the mutate feature. You can um, apply this function to your system to handle your system. Uh, it will help your system run correctly, uh, smooth, and perfectly. Thanks for watching this video.